I want to re refresh people's memories about your story. How long ago was it when you I, first I, competed against someone who was born a male in the pool? How long ago? It was in March of 2022, so about okay. a year and a half ago. So that's recent, all right? So when you saw that happen, you brought it your objection to the attention of whom? Um, I made it pretty public. Uh, all season, I talked amongst my teammates and my coaches and my parents and, and my competitors, and we all agreed. Uh, we were all on the same page, yet we were kind of whispering about it. We were kind of walking on eggshells talking about it. And so after really directly facing the injustice at that national championships, um, competing against Leah Thomas, who, let me just say, a six foot four, fully intact man who we were also forced to undress in front of, who competed three years on the men's team at University of Pennsylvania, ranking 462nd at best, to then, of course, to no one's surprise, winning a national title when competing against the women. Um, after we tied, Thomas and I, we had tied um, at this meet, and we go behind the awards podium, and the official looks at both Thomas and myself and says, great job, but you guys tied. And we only have one trophy, so we're going to give this trophy to Leah. And, of course, there was a lot of feelings, but when I asked the question that no one dared ask all season of why, you know, I, I know we tied. I know we don't necessarily account for ties, but why are you giving this trophy to Thomas? The official looked at me and said, well, we've been advised when pictures are being taken, Leah has to have the trophy. Okay, but who and was so that's behind what all... trusted me. Who do you think, Ms. Gaines, was behind all of this? There had to be, look, it never happened when I was competing in college athletics. It just never happened until a short time ago in history, maybe two or three years ago. Who is behind all this? I don't know if it's as much as a who as it is a what. What I think is behind all this, I, I think, of course, because it's not limited to just one who. Of course, the NCAA was the culprit here. Um, right. But it's it's so much bigger than that. It's corporate America. It's media. It's churches. It's academia. It's extended far beyond the who. But I think the what, why this is happening, is they're following the money. Um, these these large governing bodies and again corporations they don't follow red or blue. They follow green. Um, the ESG scores, federal funding, all of these different things. People are terrified of losing that, so they'll throw their moral compass entirely out of the window. And I know these people know this is wrong because they've admitted it. Even the president of the NCAA himself publicly, he released a statement saying, and I remember it word for word because I find it comical. He said, I unequivocally stand in my decision to allow Leah Thomas to swim with the women because it's based in evolving science. But privately, Mark Emmert, who has now stepped down, has the audacity to tell me to keep going and keep fighting, keep pushing. These men, and I say men because most of these people in these positions are men, but it's not limited to just men. They're cowards. They are spineless and they have no backbone. And ultimately it's become, it's gotten to the point where we as women have become collateral damage in the process. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year's stocks dropped a whopping 20%. 2023 could be worse. You are right to be worried. So call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I've been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers and have the highest rating in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. That's 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Again, that's 866-501-5201, or text Bill to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode 
anytime on BillOReilly.com. Please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.